Hello! Right, still in Scotland, and we are at a campsite now called Linny, or Lynn. It's right on Loch Lynn, which is a sea lock. It's just outside Fort William. Lovely little site, really nice little site. You can walk down onto like the uh, rocky beach, and um, we've been going out. My new toy. Got an inflatable canoe, so I'll do a little review on that when I've used it a few times. Been out on it three times so far, and it's a really nice bit of kit, really floats really well, which is good. So I thought I'd just show you around the campsite where we are, and um, yeah, another campsite review. They seem to get the most hits. You know? If you look at my videos, um, generally, the campsite reviews, we've got over a thousand views. Well, my other ones don't, but there we go. It's just how, how life is. People go, um, YouTube is one of the biggest search engines next to Google. And uh, when people want to go to a campsite, they stick it in YouTube and up pop my videos. So, swings and roundabouts, really. Anyway, so I'll take you up to the entrance. We'll have a little walk down. Not a long video this one because it's a massive campsite and I'm not walking all the way around it. So I'll flip you around and show you about. So uh, this is us here. There's the new boat. It's an Aquaglide Chinook 120, two man affair. You can get three people in it at a push or two people and their kit. It's quite a nice little, uh, easy to steer wide very stable pumps up like a rock brilliant and there we are we're parked there and if you look in the distance is the lock pretty nice eh? we're in this sort of this road here goes right up to the goes right up to the entrance that's a long straight road and off the road is the Cadac. Uh, what they call terraces. This is for tourers. Okay, so vans and motorhomes and caravans. But further along and in little areas around the site are places where you can pitch tents. So they accept tents here as well. The toilets and showers are very nice. And also here they have lodges. So as you can see, they're like static caravans going all the way along the front there with a beautiful view over the lock, which I'll show you later. So let's go for a little walk, eh? Hey? Right, so we're out on the approach road now. So, quite a wide approach road. However, when you get to the entrance, you go across a train bridge. Now, any of you Harry Potter fans out there, You'll have a steam train come through here and it's the Hogwarts Express one. It chuffs through here a few times a day. So if you want to come and stand on this little bridge, you'll see it. You'll see it coming down the tracks. Which is cool. So at this moment in time, we're just out of lockdown. Everyone's gone mad and booked up everywhere. So this is full at the moment. I was a very fortunate enough to get a, a cancellation for seven days. So that's what we're doing here. So as it says, park full. It's welcome in lots of different languages. So, reception's down here. It's quite a nice little reception. The staff are very friendly, very helpful. It's a beautiful site, really nice and clean. The staff all seem really nice. Which is good. So when you pull up, you go into reception at the moment. It's all COVID friendly. You go into reception, which I've just shown you. But first you park here, you go into reception, similar to the other site we come from in Oban. Outside will be your park-up details. 
on a little leaflet it tells you exactly where to go now read this and read the numbers on the actual uh, set of pitches because we've had a lot of people park next to us and have to move because they've seen number four parked up but not realized it's j4 however it does tell you on the map so yeah they've got lots of lodges here like pine lodges down there and literally the lock is just on the other side of the pine lodges there it's a beautiful location really really pretty i'll take you down quickly on the uh on the sea lock there as you can see been out there a few times there it is it's a cracking place really nice picturesque okay so i'll take you up here and just down this approach road now when you get here people on campsites and there's a lot of new people coming camping okay a lot of, there are literally i don't know tens of new rental motorhomes coming on here now five mile an hour on sites okay not ten mile an hour five mile an hour dead slow okay now a lot of people are coming through here rushing who uh, don't really know the score they think they're still on a motorway and I've seen a couple of near misses with children and dogs okay there are a few speed bumps on this road and a couple of slow down signs but they need repainting but I've said to the staff here that they need to renew their slow and five mile an hour thing so people think this is a motorway and it's got camping pitches right next to it anyway that's Mr Moni's gripe so this building here I'm not going to take you in there if you've seen washing machines before but the washing machines tumble dryers and there's a kiddies playground playroom there which is not open because of covid there's the toilets in there and you have to wear masks in all the buildings and there's hand sanitizer outside every door so that's really good okay so the camping and touring areas are straight down the road you basically come in the approach road and just keep going there's a burger van on site I think there's usually a shop, but at the moment the shop is shut because of uh, obvious reasons. So they've shut the shop. So we we'll travel down here. And the site is mint, it's really well grown. Nice mature trees and shrubs and blah blah blah. It's really nice. I'll take you up to where we are. There's a great big sign there that says J. Now all of these pitches after it are J. J1, J2, so on and so forth. So I'll take you where we are. Now down there is the ramp to get onto the lock, which I'm gonna be going down in a little while. So again, back up there is the shop reception, laundrettes, telephone and toddler's room. As I say, the shop's not not accessible at the moment and further down this road are the caravans there some disposal toilet blocks etc now i've just seen a sign that says 10 mile an hour for this site i don't think 10 mile an hour is slow enough personally we had someone on this pitch with a small dog and two small children and uh, down this little road here come a van lifer Mr. and Mrs. Van Lifer, with a bit of music playing, definitely weren't going 10 miles an hour. I wouldn't like to be hit by a car doing 10 miles an hour, put it that way. So anyway, there's Gladys and the boat. Sammy's catching some rays outside, because believe it or not, it's going to be 24 degrees today in sunny Scotland. There's our Gladys Mark 1. Lovely jubbly. I'll get some shots of the lock for you. I'll just take you down to where the toilet facilities are. It's on the same road, so you basically drive in, drive all the way down the road, approach road. Up here are the terraces, what they call the terraces. 
and all the facilities are on this road. So there's a couple more of the terraces there. And that basically tells you which way you're going, okay? Very well signposted. Now here, continuation of this road. Got lots of recycling points all around the pitches. Very good for recycling. Tells what goes in there as well, so you can't, uh, no excuses. And now is your grey water and your waste disposal for your vans or your, your motorhomes. Okay, I wouldn't use that hose because you get a lot of thick people around here. I've tied this up twice, even though I'm not using it. Just leave it on the floor. Someone comes along, empties their grey waste, splashes all over that, and then someone puts it in their caravan to fill it up with fresh drinking water. Not very bright, I always use my own hose. I wouldn't suggest you use that that's laying on the floor. Because drinking water out of your motorhome tank is perfectly safe unless you get a waterborne parasite in there, in which case you're in trouble. Anyway, that's where you empty your grey waste. Now these are the toilet blocks. To be honest with you, not been in it, okay? Not been in one. But I'm being told that they are very clean. Sammy's been in there. She said it's very clean, very nice. So they're being cleaned at the moment. So I'm not going in there. Again, if you carry on walking down this track, you come to a few other camping areas, which are really nice, sort of foresty wooded. Someone had a, a hammock up in there for a bit of bushcraft action. And uh, there's a nice little woodland walk in there that takes you down the side of a river. It's quite pretty. And in here, at the end, is your chemical toilet disposal area. Tent safety leaflet. Yeah, really nice. And there's your chemical toilet disposal. Your black waste, beautiful in there, really nice. A shower head type thing to spray it out, a tap. It's all porcelain, all very clean, really nice. Okay, one of the better ones I've seen. Probably the best one actually. So I'll take you down and show you a bit of the uh, the front where the beach is. But as you can see, it's a really nice little site. It's quite quiet, apart from my little gripe about some, some people going too fast. Some pitches here. Now I do hear a lot of people are booking sites, paying a deposit, £25 or whatever it is. And then cancelling lastminute.com. Now, pff, if there's an emergency or whatever, then yeah, fair enough. But a lot of them are not emergencies. There's a lot of empty pitches there, so whether they're cancellations or not, I don't know. Let's get you down there. So there's a camping area. They've got washing machines and dryers on site, so you can wash your clothes. There's a, most of the grassy areas have got a washing line on, a rotary washing line. So you've got all those tents there, all these tents here. It's nice and safe, nice and secure. It's miles away from any sort of traffic, any foot traffic. And you're literally from there, down here. <coughs> and there you go. Welcome to the lock. Now that way is Fort William. And the beach bay goes round there. It's absolutely lovely. The water is crystal clear. I think we're going to have a paddle round here today. Looks really nice. Hang on, there's an aeroplane going over. So yeah, the water's crystal clear. There are lots of uh, sea creatures living in there. Yesterday I went out on my boat with my little fishing rod and I caught a mackerel, which was really nice. I had that for our tea last night. And also there are periwinkles, etc. in there, which I collected a few and sat there with a little bit of salt and pepper and vinegar last night and uh, enjoyed. 
if you're into a bit of beach foraging. Anyway, lots of seaweed there. The tide comes up fairly high to about, and you see the tide line there, and that bay goes round and you can get to it from where we are. But look at that view, eh? Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'll put the website details at the bottom, as I usually do, underneath this video. So you can have a little look, click the website link, go and have a little butcher's look at that. It's really quite a comprehensive website, tells you everything, I don't need to rattle on about it. So it's Lynn, spelled L-I-N-N-H-E, Lockside Holidays. Really nice. Lots of chalets and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Lots of places to pitch up. So it's a full snatch um, camping site. Lodges, you can bring your tents, motorhomes, vans, whatever here. Yeah. And it's on this idea. As you can see, it's prime, it's sort of prime time. We're here at the end of August. And uh, there's no one here, no one on this beach. And it's red hot. Happy flipping days. Right. I'm going to go back, get my shorts on, and uh, get the old boat out on there. I'll do a little review of that, because that is absolutely pucker. And I'll show you what's, what's, uh, what the score is with that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this little walk round. You look after yourselves. Ooh. You look after yourselves, you take care. Stay safe and stay sane, as always. And, uh, yeah. Get in contact with this place. It's a nice little site just outside Fort William. Fort William's about 15 minutes down the road. Plenty of parking there next to Morrison's. So you can go into Morrison's. There's a camping, uh, like a motorhome park up space is next to that. And a couple across the road, few in Aldi. There's motorhome spaces everywhere there. And we've always been out to find one. We've been there a couple of times. I went into um, Nevy Sport there and spent quite a lot of money and got my canoe and a few wetsuits and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, happy days. So you take care again. Stay safe and stay sane. Catch up with you soon. See you later. Bye. Fresh caught out of the lock today. Mackerel with garlic, ginger, and lemongrass. Janie will be proud of me. Boom, have some of this. Look at that. Oh. Literally fresh coat. Oh, foodgasm. Mmm. Yummy.